we're in the middle of a very high density urban landscape and yet here is this oasis that's four acres of just really beautiful restored nature. It's a 400 year old ecosystem. It really is an urban neighborhood uh, with a little pocket stream involved in it. The seeds of this project were planted many years ago and we are overjoyed that they are at long last bearing fruit and flowering. You know, about 10 years ago when there was a, institutionally a plan for the city to move forward on all kinds of different kinds of things that would make a difference relative to clean water, clean air. What was here before was a great amount of grassland that um, was all dehydrated from a stormwater pipe system that uh, the city put in back in the 50s. The stream bed had a lot of invasive species that had grown from three decades. This area at St. Luke's you couldn't even walk through. People really didn't have access to the water here and now we have this beautiful shoreline where people can come and enjoy the water. What existed there before was a wetland that was a dead ecosystem. Therefore, there was nothing there but mosquitoes. I mean, the worst mosquito population you have ever, ever visited. Okay, I've lived here since 1999. We always have a lot of runoff. All the stormwater from the buildings on either side drain directly into the creek. What we've done with this project is take some hot, polluted, nasty uh, stormwater out of a storm drain network and return that to crystal clear, clean, groundwater fed spring heads. Our mission is to develop citizen leaders to promote community action for clean waters. While there's no better example of this mission in action than Betsy Love and the Restoration of Nature Project. She has taken the tools and the resources and the training that she received, mixed it with her own special blend of charm and determination, shared it with the amazing St. Luke's community, and brought us all here today to celebrate this project. This project brings together so many pieces, so many people, so many urges and hopes and dreams and visions that we've been hearing about for years. This is a mighty big day. This project is remarkable, not only in that it is one of the first real stream daylighting projects, but then add to that that it's fully connected to Tidewater Back Creek here, all the way up into the landscape that you see behind you. It was very interesting because we are in such a tight quarters. We had people, we had residents, you know, 100 feet away from us at all times while we're moving 50 loads of dirt in one day. Uh, but everyone was very interested in a good way. So many people are engaged since it's a very urban setting and because the, it's a church with a congregation. We've had hundreds of volunteers over the past few weeks to help us remove invasive species and plant all these native plants. We've got about a thousand trees, maybe five thousand shrubs. But we've got more coming and this spring we're looking forward to planting days with volunteers again. Well I'm uh, with the church here and uh, to be a part of it. My grandmother was a member of St. Luke's Church. It's a way to honor her and her memory. As an act of gratitude, we take what we have been given, we care for it, we love it, we improve it, and we heal it. And this is what people of faith do for God's creation, for humanity, for all that is. This project isn't a typical stormwater retrofit. It has less structure. It basically puts the landscape back into what it was before we all came here. In an old growth forest, the floor of the forest would have looked a lot like this project. We need to get back to this. We need to have a place everywhere where we can come back to nature and this will be that place. This urban area that we're in now has four acres of quality green space that they can now play in. Dogs play here. I love the project. I think it's great. I think it's exciting. So it's bringing this neighborhood back to the way it used to look years and years ago and that makes me happy.